that I'm making a video right now because I've been away in Miami for like a little while so I'm like I'm ready to do this. In today's video though, I thought I would come to you guys with some cool like DIY beauty life hacks. Some of them are like more skin based, some of them are like makeup based. They're basically like lazy girl beauty life hacks. So if you're lazy, you don't even have to be a girl. So hopefully you like this video and if you do, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. That way I need to make more videos like this. And I'm also super curious as to what kind of videos you want to see on my channel at the moment. So if you have any video suggestions, leave them down in the comments below for me. And if you guys do like seeing these types of videos and you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to scroll down and hit the subscribe button. And that way you'll see my videos every time that I upload. I'm super curious too, by the way, what is your favorite song at the moment? Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite song is. But I'll leave a comment down below letting you know what my current favorite song is. And you guys should do it too. I know I asked this question on Instagram the other day, which by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, my handle is at Sarah This is what it looks like at the moment. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully you guys do like this video and let's just get into it. So the very first DIY life hack that I have in this video is a little DIY Mario Badescu drying lotion. So it's actually super easy to make. All you need is some calamine lotion and you're also going to need some tea tree oil. So if you have no idea what a pimple drying lotion is, it's basically something that you can put on your skin, on your little pimples, like a little spot treatment, and you leave it on overnight and then you wake up and your pimples are like vanished. So to get started, all you want to do is take a little jar or a container and you want to fill it up about a third of the way with some calamine lotion. And then you want to go in with about two teaspoons of tea tree oil to one teaspoon of water. And then I just kind of like mix up that solution. And then I just went ahead and I dropped it all in drop by drop into my jar. You don't have to do this but you don't want to actually mix up the liquid too much so you want all the pink solution the calamine lotion to stay at the bottom of the jar and then all the rest of the liquid to be at the top of the jar so I just went in with a dropper from one of my other skincare products but this stuff is so cool if you've never used it before basically you just take a q-tip and you poke it all the way down the bottom of the jar pick up some of the pink solution and then you want to dab it on your face and this will seriously dry your pimples out overnight so you want to sleep with it on your face you look a little cray cray when you're going to sleep you're like got these pink dots all over your face but you'll wake up the next morning and and all your pimples will be like dried up and ready to go. So it's awesome. So if you're someone that always has chapped lips, then you're going to love this hack unless you really hate green tea, which I know so many people hate green tea, <laughs> but I actually really love green tea and it's so awesome for chapped lips. All you need to do is sit down, drink yourself a little cup of tea, and then when you're finished, take the tea bag out of it and just kind of like wring it out to get rid of all the excess water so it's not like dripping all over your face. But then you just want to like put the green tea bag on your lips for five minutes and it will seriously make your lips feel so much more hydrated. I seriously went through a point where my lips were like addicted to chapstick and then chapstick stopped working and I had to do this because my lips were so chapped. Let me know in the comments if you are also the kind of person like me that paints their nails and then two seconds later they're like ruined for the rest of the week because you are so impatient that you can't wait for them to dry and then you go on your phone and then they're ruined. But anyway, if you are a part of the impatient squad, all you have to do is take some ice and some water and just pop it in a bowl together. Paint your nails like normal, but when you're finished, put your hands in the water for like five minutes. It's so cold that it's nearly painful, but when you take your hands out, your nail polish will be dry. So thank me later. So I definitely was not blessed in the eyebrow department and not only do I have to fill my eyebrows in like crazy but I can never like get them to stay in place when I do finish them. So to fix that all I do is take a spoolie and some hairspray and just like put the hairspray on the spoolie and then brush it through and it's an awesome like eyebrow setting gel. But then I know that's a standard hack so moving on I've got like a little double hack in case you don't have the stuff to do the last one. All you want to do is take your chapstick which I'm sure you probably have a chapstick and you just want to like run that through your eyebrows and this one works really awesome as well so if you don't have one you can do the other so I am all about the lush lip scrubs but back at Christmas I actually made some DIY lip scrubs as gifts and then I was like this is so much cheaper because the lush lip scrub is so small and it's like ten dollars and for this all you need to do is add in two tablespoons of sugar to one tablespoon of oil and then I just went in and gave it a little bit of a stir and I 
added in some vanilla essence because you always want to make it taste as good as possible as well. I mean, it's so close to your mouth that you may as well eat it. And then I just went in and added in some red food coloring. I feel like you should probably just add like red or pink food coloring, but like if you want to go in because it probably will tint your lips, you want to go in and add in like a blue or a green. I feel like that could look super cool as well. I mean, each their own. Do whatever you want. And then I just went ahead and put it up into these little jars that I got from Target. And the actual scrub itself ended up being like four times the size as my lush one, so I was pretty impressed. I had to squeeze another DIY into this video, so I'm gonna make a DIY lip color. It's actually super, super easy. So you just need a blush and a lip balm, and you basically wanna start off by scraping out some of your blush. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I don't really wear blush that often. I normally skip that step when I'm doing my makeup, so I wasn't like super sad when I was like scraping out my blush. But anyway, you basically just wanna go in and add some lip balm to your blush. The more blush that you've got down, the like more pigmented the lip color is gonna be. So if you want it to be like super intense, just make sure to add more blush you could totally make this and make like an extra big amount of it and put it in a little container If you're someone that has super small little lashes and they don't really stand out a lot and you can't really see them, then this is the hack for you. I got you. All you need is a mascara, which you probably already have if you wear makeup. And then you're also going to need a loose powder. So basically, you just want to go in and put your mascara on like normal. You know how to do it. And then when you finish applying your mascara, you want to go in with some of your loose powder. It seems so strange, but basically you just want to brush the powder through your eyelashes and it's going to thicken them up heaps. Pretty sure you can actually buy mascaras that have these fibers in them already but you know like DIY life we're super cheap so as you can see this hack actually made my eyelashes look way longer Speaking of short lashes though, I have another hack for you guys if you have small lashes or you want to grow your lashes. All you need to do is take some aloe vera gel, some castor oil, and you're also going to need some vitamin E oil. You just want to go in with your aloe vera and add in half a teaspoon and then you also want to add in another half a teaspoon of castor oil and then lastly you just want to finish it off with your vitamin E oil. So I just went in and made my little mixture in this travel container that's just meant for like moisturizers when you're traveling on the plane. And so I just take it out each night and I get a spoolie and run it through my eyes lashes but I was thinking a way better way of doing this is actually to put it in a mascara tube I've always done it like this but it'd be so much easier to just have this little mixture in a mascara tube like way more efficient but anyway if you put this on each night your eyelashes are gonna be so much longer in no time so that is it for this video hopefully you guys liked it you guys should leave me a comment down below letting me know if you've ever tried out any of these life hacks before because some of them I've been doing since I was in like grade 7 so I'm super curious to know if anyone else has done any of these as well I'm also super curious if if you've got any like top secret life hacks that no one's ever heard of before leave them in the comments if you do and while you're down there don't forget to let me know what your favorite song is because i am ready to make the world's best playlist so i really want to know what your favorite songs are leave them in the comments down below and if you did like this video and you haven't hit the thumbs up button make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also hit the red subscribe button for me so that way you'll see my new videos every single week but anyway i hope you guys are having an awesome day if you haven't checked out my instagram feed make sure to head over my handle is at sarah jane Betts, and i guess i'll See you guys in my next video. Have a good day.